Hello everyone. Today I'd like to talk briefly about karma. Um, I've been thinking about karma for years, but uh, recently I've begun thinking again about how nations actually have karma as well as people. Um, now you might ask, how can the people of a nation be punished for something that their nation did in the past through karma? Well, it's very complicated because people are actually born in particular nations for uh, karmic reasons. Um, they're not just born into a family or a body or even a state or a city or a town. Uh, that's not, that's not, those aren't the only reasons that uh, people are born um, where they're at. It's also they're born in countries as well for the same karmic reasons. Uh, karma has influence in the very fabric of reality. Um, karma influences everything that basically happens to us. Uh, sitting down to eat, uh, the karma that we gain from eating the wrong foods, from how we acquired the money to buy the food, uh, to where we get the food, to how we treated the, f the person who sold us the food, and, um, and how we eat it, and uh, what we're thinking about while we're eating it. Karma is the very fabric of reality. Every single um, causation uh, and effect is and has to do with karma. Um, now, when nations develop negative karma by going to wars in their past uh, that they didn't act appropriately and they didn't act um, uh, compassionately and even though it's a war or perhaps many of their soldiers were allowed to do terrible things uh, like the country of England uh, when they were in India uh, when they how they treated the colonists in America um, how they how they treated the Scottish people before that um, that karma does stick with um, a country like England and um, it's not that they're the only they're the only ones at fault in these in the instances I mentioned. It's just that whatever negative karma was acquired in those instances, how the country acted as a whole because of mostly because of the leadership, um, that is still taking account for the country's karma. Um, and it's hard to say that there's like a it's hard to say that there's like a very conscious judge like has a book like writing it down or something. It's really the it's really just it's, it's hard to explain, but it's cause and effect. And every little tiny cause uh, and every single tiny effect, no matter what it is, uh, is in relation to what happened, uh, what will happen, what is happening, and the choices that were made. And um, there's, there's secondary and primary karma. Primary karma is like, this is going to happen to you. Uh, secondary karma is, okay, well, I have a little bit more choice when it comes to it. Uh, maybe my walls will be tan instead of blue <laughs> and then I paint them tan and then there's not a whole lot of that that wasn't written into my destiny basically that wasn't part of my destiny to have blue walls <laughs> so there's secondary cars but uh, instrumental occurrences in my life yes those are part of my destiny uh, be, being schizophrenic that was part of my destiny uh, becoming an addict for a time that was part of my destiny uh, starting to study spirituality and the different religions that was part of my destiny uh, writing uh, and developing my writing techniques and skill, that's part of my destiny. These are primary and instrumental things in my life. So it would make sense that countries as well would have these primaries, these primary things that influence uh, what's going to happen to the country as a whole. And um, it may not be apparent immediately, and it, karma isn't a, an immediate reaction uh, a, a lot of the time. Uh, a, long, a lot of the time it takes many, many years, decades, even centuries and millennia for karma to come to fruition completely for said country. Um, but the people that are born there are usually the ones who had a hand in bad actions uh, in the past. The people who are born there and suffer because of the country's negative karma uh, did something wrong in a previous life or this life. Uh, to be in that case, to be in that instance in which they would be affected by the country's karma, negative karma, or even positive karma. If the, po if the country is experiencing a positive boon uh, and uh, maybe even a boom of population and culture and, um, and wealth, then that's, people experience that because they were meant to, because they did something right, uh, just like they do if they did something wrong and there's something bad that happens to the country. But really... What I also want to say is that it's not our place to judge. If somebody is suffering in some country and we think of karma and say, okay, well, they deserve it, 
then we develop our own negative karma because it's not our place to judge uh, based on what happens to somebody in some country and say, oh, well, forget about them. They deserved it. No, it's our, it's our duty to try and help them. Uh, just because cause and effect has put them there and their actions have put them there, basically, uh, to suffer, that doesn't mean that we should ignore them because in ignoring their suffering, we're creating the karma that will will come back at us basically in the same way somebody will ignore us. And it, this whole process, karma, causation, effect, it's all to teach us as souls through many, many lifetimes, to teach us as individual souls that have made choices in relation to the egos and all the different bodies we're in, um, that, that we should be kind and caring towards everyone because we're all connected. And we should do the best for ourselves, for our own soul, uh, try to become liberated try to become free and help other people to do that. And karma teaches us to do that. Once we reach the human level to where we can actually understand it, then in engaging with karma, we slowly learn, even if we're not conscious of it. Uh, we slowly learn that, okay, if we help people, we get positive uh, reactions from the universe. And that's what karma te teaches us through, is uh, positive and negative uh, things that happen to us in our lives, basically. Uh, but that's really all I wanted to talk about um, the karma of countries is is the karma of individuals because people are put in particular countries uh, for reasons uh, and decisions that they made in their past lives. Uh, if you made if you made a decision even in nine lifetimes ago, it might just be come to fruition now uh, in the country that you're in if you're experiencing something positive or negative. Um, but it, it's a very complicated mesh in reality, and it cause and effect is just infinite, endless, uh, as infinite and endless as um, at least our understanding of time, anyway. Even though time itself is not infinite or endless, but karma perpetuates itself as long as people continue to act. Once we've acted to the extent and learned enough, every single soul, every single atom in the universe, connected to souls, um, and then liberated uh, as such. Um, once we've all been liberated from this universe, from all the universes, from the different dimensions, um, then karma won't exist because there'll be no action. There'll be complete and utter freedom based on our actions towards li that liberation. But, um, yeah, I'll go ahead and end it here. And uh, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to comment or like, uh, even if you didn't like it, feel free to dislike or comment and, uh, Based on the comments, I'll make future videos like this, or uh, or maybe I'll uh, engage with you in the comment section and uh, we'll talk about it. But uh, thank you very much for watching, and y'all have a great day.